Efforts to raise money for Ukrainian relief are taking an interesting turn as two nationally known storytellers prepare for a really powerful experience. They're weaving together the shared experiences of the black and Jewish communities to facilitate an important conversation. Paula Tupman has more. As a nationally renowned musical storyteller, Reverend Robert Jones Sr. believes that when words are combined with music, there's an important story to tell. Let my people go. I think it's important for us to address the idea that if there's suffering anywhere in the world, we all have a responsibility to do something about it. Kareen Stavish. Oh, but the day we went to Kronberg Castle. Also a nationally renowned storyteller weaves powerful historical narratives that teach and inspire. My grandfather was from Ukraine, Russia and escaped to come to America. My grandmother is from Southeast Poland, right where all the action is now. I'm the granddaughter of four immigrants. I wanted to do something. The two will join together at Temple Kola Me in West Bloomfield for a program called Freedom Stories, for a powerful evening of stories and songs to express the deep symbiosis black people and Jewish people have in their historical fights for freedom. I like to do events where you're sort of mashing together things that don't necessarily seem like they're related. For freedom and peace. We're talking about the issue of freedom uh, and justice for both the Jewish community and the black community. And here we have right now a fight for freedom going on in the Ukraine. African Americans and Jewish Americans um, for many years shared the experience of kind of being the outsiders. Uh, there were people who discriminated against both groups. Today, the two storytellers put their heads together to plan the event. In a room like this where everybody's got a good line of vision. Both are deeply concerned about what's going on in the world right now. They want to talk about it. They want others to hear. Ukraine's story is a story of horror. What we're responding with is humanity and therefore hope. Presidents and, and prime ministers are trying to make decisions, military decisions. That's what they do. But when it comes to healing and taking care of one another, that's what we do. That's the work of churches and synagogues and temples and mosques and communities. So just happy to be a part of that. So on Wednesday, so the program is actually Wednesday at Temple Kola Me in West Bloomfield Township. Uh, we were actually here to watch some of this creativity take place as they planned it. Um, you can walk in, you can pre-register. They're also streaming it. We're going to put a link on our social media platforms so that you're able to, to easily register. The, the donation suggestion is $18 or denominations of $18, which is a very important number in Hebrew, it basically loosely translates to life. But honestly, watching these two collaborate, Karen gave me goosebumps. I know, and obviously we're storytellers and we really appreciate people gathering. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is life changing for some people to get this opportunity to take part. Oh, absolutely, and, and to hear the words, yeah. but also to enjoy the camaraderie, but also know that you're raising money for what? Freedom. Yes. Very important. Paula, we appreciate it as always.